So, as from the start, you would have seen in the thumbnail and the title and all the other things, I bought a new car. So, I've just bought a GQ Patrol. Here he is there. I wanted to buy a car to go camping in. Um, go, I want to try and find some trout streams. So, when I go away with my mate Brett and his patrol, um, we find all these streams and fish them, but I don't get to fish them very long because, you know, we're sort of on the path there. He's going with his four-wheel drive. And I just sort of scout them and then we move on. So I bought my own four-wheel drive that I can take up the high country looking for streams and I can like, you know, park up and spend a good amount of time. I can camp there if it's good. Yeah, I just wanted like a more capable car. Like I have a four-wheel drive at the moment, but it's a company car and I don't want to be scratching it and dinting it and wrecking it. You know, not really good to rock up to work on Monday with a screwed up car. So <laughs> I decided to buy my own. Now, a little bit of a past on cars for me. Um, I used to be right into cars. Like when I was 18, I had a VL Commodore, um, which got turboed and then that blew up and then I put a bigger turbo on it and then the gearbox blew up like a hundred times. So I ended up spending big money on a car, which is kind of what tends to happen when I buy an engine. So that VL ended up running tens um, and cost me an absolute bucket load of money. So if you hear me referring to the VL while I'm running through this, that's the VL. Um, I'll put a photo up of the engine bay or whatever on that. Yeah, big bucks went into that. So uh, this car may or may not turn into something like that as well. But yeah, we'll uh, have a look and I'll show you what's going on. This is how I purchased it. I haven't touched it. I haven't even washed it. This is as I got it from buying it. So this is like the base and then um, you guys can follow along as I do things. I'll make a video every time I do a couple of things and yeah, we'll just follow along with this car and see how it goes. All right, so walking around the car, it's GQ Patrol. 92 model um, TI, so it's got like leather. Oh, that's locked. We'll try this side. So it's got the leather seats. There's sheepskin covers on the front, I think because the leather's destroyed on the front seats as it usually always is. Yeah, it's all cracked and stuff under there. So I'll, my plans are I want to get um, better seats for it. I, in the VL I had VX SS seats in that and they were comfortable as they hugged you and sort of kept you in there like nice and tight. So I might look for something like that again or like a lot of people doing XR seats and stuff like that. But yeah, it's pretty standard sort of TI interior, a bit of stuff going on on the steering wheel and, and whatnot. And then yeah, the back seats are actually pretty clean. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the inside of it. Um, it has a two inch lift and it's got a two inch lift and 33 inch tires. Um, that's pretty much as far as the four wheel driving stuff goes. Oh, actually it's got a bull bar and a winch on the front. Sorry for the close up. But yeah, it's got an ARB bull bar, a non winch bar, which the guy I bought it off modified it to suit the winch. Um, so I'll keep that around for now, it looks all right, so I'll keep using that. It's just got the King's um, Dominator Extreme winch. Um, I've heard mixed reviews, some people love them, most people hate them, so I'll use that until it blows up, and then I'll probably get something good. Um, and yeah, future plans for the outside, I wanna put a roof rack on, some rock sliders on. I'm happy with the suspension and the tires and wheels at the moment, so I'll keep them how they are, really, now. The business end. <laughs> All right, so I've got the bun open. It is a LS1, 5.7 liter V8 petrol. Um, pretty standard. There's nothing really done to the engine. It's not like canned or anything like that. It's just a standard LS1. Um, things it does have, it's got kind of extractors. They're just like the Marks adapters ones. So that it will actually fit in the patrol. And it's got a turbo smart fuel regulator, which may suit me in the future. <laughs> um, and a Demon airbox, which I'm pretty sure is a patrol, patrol doctor knockoff. 
Um, I do want to actually put a patrol dog to snorkel on it. The ones that sit right up there in the corner and then a four inch snorkel out the bonnet. Um, engine wise, that's pretty much it. It's pretty standard. So let me know in the comments what you want me to do to it or what you think I should do to it. I have plans and knowing what I've been like in the past, give it 12 months and it's probably gonna have a turbo sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> knowing me um, it's got 044 fuel pumps it's got the fuel regulator it's got everything ready to go it literally just needs a set of injectors and a turbo and it's ready to go so this car is auto um, it's got a wholesale automatics auto in it the whatever comes in it. I think the 4e or I don't know I'm not really patrol minded yet but yeah, it's got that auto in it that's been built up. It's been built to handle 800 horsepower. Um, and it's got like a lockup converter. So it's a three speed with the overdrive and then the converter lockup makes it essentially like a five speed auto, which is sick. It sits on like 17, 1800 RPM at 100. So that's really good for like cruising wise because it's going to use a lot of fuel. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all the engine stuff and yeah the auto is pretty cool um it's just got the standard shifter i was thinking about putting a bnm shifter in there and then it's got a lock up switch here for the converter so yeah it does what i just said it can sort of have like a fifth gear um the taco on the dash doesn't work neither does the temperature gauge and the previous owners put a taco and a temperature gauge there so i've got all that speedo and everything works so that's all good to go it's got electric mirrors and stuff like that so i'm actually pretty happy with it and one thing i found out i went to the shops today and i reversed up to a brick wall and it's actually got reverse sensors i didn't even know so if you look under here at those guys they're actually reverse sensors and i didn't even know i had them so that's pretty cool i didn't think like it would have anything like that being like such an old car so it's obviously aftermarket or whatever but in the back here it's a ti so it's got this and the sub i am going to get rid of that now this the previous owner made it um it's so when you lay the seats down it's all flat so you can use it as a bed which is a pretty good idea i would probably use that and i'm guessing these mounts are for a fridge or whatever i'm probably going to get rid of that i'm going to rip it out put a nice set of drawers in here um and I've already got a fridge and stuff, so I'll put all that in with a set of drawers, put like a good 12 volt set up in it. I'm gonna do a roof rack with a solar panel underneath the roof rack, like I have on my work car, um, cause that works really good. So I pretty much wanna set this up as a tourer or whatever, I wanna be able to live out of it. I wanna go the high country, chase trout, like in the streams where not many people can access it. So. That's like the main goal with this car, but like it's obviously gonna tow my boat and stuff, no worries, having the V8. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much like a basic rundown of this car. So um, this is just like a baseline of where I'm starting at. Like I'm happy with the suspension and tire setup and stuff like that. The car is not engineered at the moment. I bought it non-engineered. Um, I've rang the engineers, but we're in lockdown now, so I'm guessing it's going to be six weeks before I can get it in to get that done. But it will be engineered when it all gets transferred into my name, so that will all be good. It's just a matter of the engineers, engineers opening after lockdown so I can get it in and get done what needs to be done with that. So, yeah, by the time, yeah, it's all these lockdowns over and stuff, like, won't be too long after that. It'll all be sorted and ready to go perfectly legal and stuff like that so that'll be good um and yeah that's about it so let us know what drawers and stuff you like what roof racks what engine mods i want to hear all the comments i want to if you reckon diesels are better i don't care i've got a ls <laughs> but i want to hear all the comments i want to look at it all i want to get an opinion about it so I've come from like a drag car, had a 10 year gap, and now I have another car with a bit of balls. So we'll see what happens with that. Just let us know in the comments any, any things you wanna know or anything you think I could do to it. I wanna hear it. So yeah, that is basically my new car. If you wanna hear more about the car or follow along, follow along with the build, um, 
I'm obviously not going to build it in a weekend. It's going to be over time. I don't have that much money. <laughs> but um, yeah, subscribe to the channel, follow along. Every time I do a handful of things and sort of get enough sort of going on, I'll do like another sort of look over and see what I've done to it and see how it goes. And obviously in the future, keep an eye out. I will be taking this off road with some other mates that do have Forbies and stuff. I'll probably be getting into Forbying a lot more. Um, and obviously for the fishing people, I'll be chasing trout in streams and stuff with this a lot And I'll probably be living out of it a bit <laughs> So yeah, if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more subscribe and I'll see you on the next one